Dude, I was about to go live like an hour, like two hours ago when my mom called. Then I had to watch, then I got stuck on YouTube for, you know, ever. And then my mom called me again. Then Dustin called me while I was on the phone with my mom. So I was like, and I'm up. But I'm here. Welcome. Come say hi to me. I'm pissed. I want to be wherever country these people are that are getting all these pictures with Johnny Depp. What the hell? Hi, Jesse. My Twitter, the only notifications I get right now are like Johnny Depp notifications and like where he's at and what he's doing and how he gave some random girl one of his bracelets and how uh, everybody's getting pictures with him. Like, I want pictures with Johnny Depp. Come on. He obviously likes them 30 in their 30s. So, come on over. Hi, Cameron. Hi, babe. Come on over there. I'm alright. Sorry I wasn't live yesterday. Well, I meant I wasn't supposed to be live yesterday or today, but sorry I wasn't live Friday or Saturday. Um, I don't know. I, I was just being lazy. Hi, Mitchell. How, how are you today? I'm in cookie. Dude. These birthday cake Oreo cookies are the sh Okay, hold on. Let me go in. And... But these birthday cake Oreo are amazing. I'm not even joking. Oh shit. Wait. 
See if there's any more ammo or anything around here. I feel like if there was going to be okay, um statue that would be around here somewhere because all the the stone that you see but I guess not I don't understand Trying to do that the whole time it wasn't like what let wasn't letting me hi Bart. Body shells. Thank you. I'm gonna need a lot more. I thought I could carry eight. I guess not. Gotta try these. Hi, Jonathan. Cause I wasn't gonna see that. No way. burning room. Will you burn that girl alive? With that girl that walks weird and you have to like incinerate her. I did that.
figured I could fix some of those bolts up. I think you beat that area already. I think this game. Oh my God. I am on the easiest difficulty there is because this game is hard for me. It's okay. This game is not hard for me. I'm not gonna say that because it's really not. Um, but like I keep telling everybody the same thing over and over and over and over again. It's the distortion. The mirror, when you take that medicine box thing and it makes your health longer, but it also makes you, like, feel like you're drunk. I don't, I don't like that. It gets in my head. It makes me feel crazy. It makes me, I feel like I'm going to have a seizure from that. Hi, Solomon. I'm going to feel them. I'm a, I'm a big chicken. But at least I'll admit it. I'm a scaredy cat. You guys. These Oreos are the shit. If you haven't tried them yet, get some. They're Oreo flavored, but no, no. They're birthday cake flavored Oreo cookies. And they're really good. But they're really, really sweet. So you have to, you have to like really sweet things. Need that. I do not need that negativity in my life. Hi. Hey, Trey. I've been okay. How are you, buddy? I would die a lot. I normally can't either, but my kids drink all my milk, so they're so good that I can eat them without milk. Sense of self, but there were unanticipated results here. Suicidal thoughts and alternate personalities exhibited as attacks on the core personality, as self-consciousness waned, a sort of Stasis was achieved, like two creatures sewn together and forced to live as one, eternally hating each other. Delicious. I died almost a thousand times, but I beat it. See, that would be me. Thank you, Nick. 
How are you, buddy? Hey, what are those? Can I stomp on them? Are they babies? Hey, James! Thank you for the stars, Nick. That was really sweet. Why is there an eyeball open? Oh, there it is. Hold on a minute. I think I accidentally used the spark. Yeah, I did. How you doing, buddy? Not on, not really. Watch the baby dudes. They're scary looking. But they had the dual headed things like the big ones did. Kind of remind me of like Resident Evil when you have to step on the bugs, the baby spiders. Except for they don't jump on you. Guess that doesn't work. Hi, Dean. Okay. I guess they can jump on me. It sounds like they stole some of the sounds from Resident Evil. I'm not even lying. That mm, sounds just like Resident Evil, I swear.
Oh, there it is. What the fuck? I'm looking for the other big one. What's up? Sorry to my new job today. Congratulations, Solomon. How did you like it? Thank you, Brandon. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm out of parts. I need parts. How often I was using those parts, huh? I hate walking through walls like this because it makes me feel like. Who's that? Who's that just standing there? Go crazy chick. Can't just be a regular. She's dead. She's a dead lady. Thank you. It's very sweet. That's very nice. I went too deep, and of course it was a trap. So if he had told me this stop so many times, but it was the only, only a little further to the truth. I knew there'd be challenges, but I was so close. I noticed the faintest breeze coming from the crack of this door. This door has to lead outside. The plate I found look looks like it fits in the slot. It's probably the key, but 
which way does it go? 50-50 odds, and I've been here pacing for what feels like an eternity, unable to make this simple choice. I'll hold you in my arms. I'll tell you that you're right, and I'll never let you go. That's sad. That's a man. I thought it was a woman. I got no game. <laughs> I'll tell you what gave it away there, buddy. That blood splatter that was on the door. And the blood splatter that was on the front of one side and not the other side was a dead giveaway. Aw, oh, don't say that, Grant. You're not ugly. No one's ugly. People are ugly on the inside. That's it. Not about what's on the outside, it's about what's on the inside. If you do your best to be a kind person and the best person you know how to be, then the rest of it doesn't matter. You're only as ugly as you feel. That's how I look at it. Some days I don't feel like I'm pretty, but I'm still here, and I still want to make people laugh. I still want to make people smile, so I still go with my day. Just because you're not attractive to yourself doesn't mean you're not attractive to somebody else in the world. You know what I mean? Oh God. <coughs> I've been single for almost seven years now. Damn, Sullivan. enjoy it though. I get to play video games all day. Hey, my man gets to play video games all day. He gets to do whatever he wants. I don't bitch. I don't complain. We're just happy. Doc. Doc, what the hell is going on? There's no time. I need to figure out how to reverse this if we're going to stop him. Who? This Rubik guy? Who the hell is he? Rubik, sorry, that's who I the one. Find this. I can't help if you leave me in the dark, Doc. Not everyone. Job hogs. It's a good game, Robert. And you need me to I just don't like the distortion in it. Linking brains together, sharing everything on an electrochemical level, emotion, memory, perception, everything, directly. Hi Kyle! It's unprecedented. The 
implications on psychology and pharmaceuticals, on consciousness itself. Are you serious? It's a fucking nightmare. Well, I didn't say it was perfect. Especially not with such a... unstable host. Great. So your research partner is a psychopath. And we're all inside his head. I'm hoping we get hired into it. Not exactly, nice. no. All of us are... Love this game. Thank you! I love my pink hair. I'm hoping I have it onto the company. I'm sure you will. Everything on some level. But he's the only one with conscious influence. You know how he thinks. What does he want? Well, it's just a theory, but... I'd say he wants us dead. That's his brain. So we're inside someone's brain. Hi, I'm new here. I love your energy and mannerisms. Thank you, Gregory. You, your name looks too familiar. Are you sure you're new here? You just seem awfully familiar. You promise? That name rings a bell. It doesn't let me pick between stomp or kick. Break, I mean, coming back to his I have no idea how I was born. I, I was born like this. <laughs> I don't know about beauty, but Goofy, I think you've been here before. Your name just seems familiar. You gotta remember, there's like a lot of people. How many followers do I have now? I don't even know because there's so many of you guys. We'll see. How do you get 45 notifications? Twenty two thousand one hundred and seventy five people. I try to remember everybody, but it's hard. There's lots. Sixteen. Oh! 
I'm not even gonna appeal this until after I'm done streaming, cause I got two appeals on one. This game is so cool. I thought grass was blue. Why is the grass green? Y'all are dumb. Uh, no effing thanks. Well, that wasn't very fair. Whoopsies. He was running by himself for a second there. I kind of just assumed. I love PS4 players. This is a PS5, but yes, I, PlayStation. PlayStation. Oh God. I gotta lay off peyote. Peyote. What's his name again? Fuck, what's his name? Ruvik. So there's Julie. I'm Sebastian. Let's see, I want to see all the characters. I got to lay off the air fryer. Me too, Nick. Hi, Jay. So Ruvik is the bad guy. I'm Sebastian, then there's Joseph, then there's Judy, and Leslie. I love Leslie. He's so adorable. I haven't met Tatiana or Mira. I think Mira was his wife, though. But Rubik, Rubik, Rubik is the bad guy? Yeah, you might kid with Hilly. I gotta say, the nose ring, though, I noticed it, and it, and it's cool, Nick. I forgot I was wearing a shot collar and crossed the fence. Ouch. <laughs> what? Alright, hold on. We have so many pictures in our group chat. Where's the pictures that I that he says? I 
I can't find it. Oh my god, I'll never find it if I scroll through all this. You were sitting at like a table. Maybe it was, um... Maybe it was your story. Hi, Richard! I'll do I'll let it all go. I think it was your story I saw it in. I don't know, but you were eating and you were sitting at a table and I could see that you had like, your nails were black and it looked like you had a nose ring. Maybe it was just a filter, I don't know. It was cool, I liked it. It was neat. Did you get your nice beers? Is that a person? control of my body. Oh, he set me on fire. Hell no! Detective Castiano. Was that someone else's memories? No, you can't remember someone else's memories. Dipshit. You were lonely once, yes. Have a bad dream? <sighs> no, no, not that way. No, 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 not that way. No worries, Kimmy. Please refrain from agitating the public. There's a desk in there, and a chair, and a bed, and a toilet. There's nobody in there. Thank you, Kenny. You don't know well at all. You say that so often. boy's face is like blackened out and bugs are coming out of it.
You look as if you still want it. There's pictures on the walls. And what's this? There's one of those safes. There's like an eyeball. Can I call you pink, Mandy? You can call me pink. That's fine. You can call me Pinky. A wizard is never late, nor is he on time. Here, I just I see what he means to. Exactly. Grant, you can call me whatever you want. Except for something nasty or ugly. You can call me Miss Kitty. You can call me... Mama Cat. Uh, the daughter's eyes are dark. Boy who lived, come to die. How about a cadaver? I love you too. Can I call you late for dinner? Never. I'm always on time. What are you talking about? Food? I'm there, sir. I'm always there. I'm a foodie, and I don't care. I like the fruity food. It makes my belly tickle. Duh, 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 duh. See how it looks like a house now? Like. It changed. It's like wooden in here. Hmm. Strange. Yeah. Sure. I don't really use my melee. Like. I don't use that enough. I would be an outfit. I use those a lot. I feel like that was necessary. <laughs> Save the rest. Hug. What?
I'm not even controlling it. I want us to touch the flower. Are we just naming off random movies right now? I'm right before Christmas. Everything with Johnny Depp in it. Pirates of the Caribbean. Jerk. The pumpkin pink. Okay, um... Corpse Bride. Frank and Weenie. I don't think Johnny Depp's in that movie, though. Um, Blow. Um, Public Enemies. Um, Alice in Wonderland. Do the bark. I am too old for Facebook. Me too. Band of the Hand. I said Public Enemies. Uh, what's eating Gilbert Grape? Uh, cry baby. Uh, anybody that can be a crazy drunk pirate, a drug dealer. <laughs> John freaking Dillinger, the Mad Hatter, Willy Wonka, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Willy, Willy Wonka is the best actor in the world. In my opinion, he is, <laughs> why is the rum always gone? Me, I'm from North Carolina. Rum Diary, Heather's, North Carolina. Try it. Thrashing. My mom. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh. Yes, I'm from North Carolina. That's not Johnny Depp. But it's a good movie. How fast do I need buckets or boxes? Tremors. You know, I've heard of Tremors, but I've never watched it as a kid. Tim Burton movies. Actually, this wasn't all Tim Burton's. Those are only Johnny Depp. Because Johnny Depp does play in a lot of Tim Burton movies, but I love anything Tim Burton. Anything. And he's coming out with a new Netflix series called Wednesday, and it's going to be about Wednesday Adams. And I am so excited to watch it. And there's a rumor. See, I don't believe this because... Hold on. Let me let me look this up before I say it because I'm pretty sure I'm right, but I'm, I don't want to make myself look stupid. Okay, it is Warner Brothers. Okay, Edward Scissorhands. There you go, Grant. Woo! Don't throw in garbage with Amber Turd in it. They're on the train. They're on from the train. Good burger. Over to the good burger house, man. Take your order. Sweetie Todd. Very good. Very good. Jurassic Park. Batman. Uh. Batman Returns. My mother and his wife moved. 
person's rams. Don't tell mom the babysitter said. I meant there's some babysitting. I want her to be with me. Okay. So, like, Tim Burton works with Disney and stuff. Like, The Nightmare Before Christmas is a Disney film, but it's made by Tim Burton. Uh, but did you know that Beetlejuice is actually from Warner Brothers? Right? They also, Warner Brothers also owns, um, The Corpse Bride. You would think that Disney would be the ones that owned Corpse Bride since they own The Nightmare Before Christmas. But Warner Brothers owns all this other stuff from, um, The Faculty Blow. I said blow. He makes by Dog Snack. Oh, okay. I was like, what is that? Blow is a good movie. Yes. <coughs> um. Anyway, so yes, Disney owns one of Tim Burton's movies that I know of. I don't know about the rest of them. I know the perfect that Disney owns The Nightmare Before Christmas. The rest of it is Warner Brothers. And Warner Brothers are the people that uh, made Aquaman. And Aquaman 2 and all that that's getting ready to come out. So they're making a Beetlejuice 2. It's, it's already confirmed. It's already done. Just like Hocus Pocus 2 is actually a real thing. If you look it up, they look so old in their costumes. But anyway, Beetlejuice 2 is a thing, and if you type in Beetlejuice 2, it'll bring up three actors. Winona Ryder. Duh. Hold on. Uh, it, it brings up cast, is what it says, here, right here. Michael Keaton, Monona Ryder, and Johnny Depp. Now, somebody might have put that on there, but it would not shock me to see Tim Burton put Johnny Depp into Beetlejuice as Winona Ryder's husband. Like... An all grown up version of Lydia married to Johnny and uh, maybe he has kids of her own but I don't think he's going to work with Warner Brothers after the stuff with his wife or his ex-wife Highbridge Harry Potter 2 will be good Hocus Pocus 2 yes it will be good Craft. The Craft is a good movie. Disney said they'll take him back, but he said he wouldn't go back. They should have stu stood by him because he wasn't guilty. He was innocent. And he was guilty until proven innocent, is what he said. And there's no amount of money that they could ever pay him. He even said something about... There's no amount of llamas that they could ever give him to go to come back. So there will not he will not be in another pirates movie. He refuses. Uh, Yankee Stadium area, my friend. Never heard that. Tim Burton should do a remake of Wizard of Oz. That would be trippy as fuck. Sorry, I paid my internet bill today, and whenever my internet bill gets paid, it acts funny the day of. So, my internet is restored. It said it was disconnected, so. 
I think this is the part that I got stuck at, if I'm not mistaken. This is the part where I go in that house and he chases me around and I have to, I'm gonna have to watch the video again because I will die. Nothing. Flubber. Good movie. X-Men. No. Hey, hey. Hi, Mac. The Renaissance Man. Also a good movie. Robots. Mars needs bombs. Bendy, please instant message me later. You are awesome. Oh, thank you. Um, I will do my best. I don't even message my own mom that often, so if I don't message you, I'm sorry. It's nothing personal. I'm just lazy. Hi, Mike. Thank you. Dean, don't be a dick. I drink a lot of the kids. It comes with the territory. It's not that serious. <laughs> You're always thirsty, Nick. Why are you avoiding my question about your nose ring? Did you get your nose pierced? Gotta be an angel out here somewhere. Beer bee. Damn it, beer bee. I gotta get some water. <laughs> My favorite is the light Gatorade. Gross. Did you see that man there? Go 
your start goal is close. Actually, it's not. I better reset it. Hmm. That's from last month. And um, I didn't stream a lot last month, so I didn't meet my star goal. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. Because I was sick and I didn't stream, so I'm not mad about it. Oh, my foot's going numb. There's that nose ring. You got a frog? It's cute. It's a poisonous frog. I like it. Told you you had a nose ring. Told you. I noticed little things. Little things that you do make me go. Oh, no. Where'd you go, man? I'm gonna shoot you. Okay. I don't wanna do this part. <laughs> hey, stop, damn it. I've gotta start over. That's from last month, but I've got to reset it. Now what? <sighs> I'm going to save it because I know where I'm at. Yes, the pretty ones are deadly. <laughs> nope. Don't you think you should use your room? Ruben. <laughs> they go out one by one. I don't think I have any keys, but let's go check. Upgrade the boat. I'm not yelling at you. Golden up. You could have got the blue one. Why didn't you get the blue one? Out of curiosity. Envy is dangerous, so don't mess with her. She will pounce. She will. Hi, Nada. Hi, boy. What are you doing, baby boy? Oh. So is Nala, but he's... Good boy. Oh. And he will pounce, trust me. 
to like so wait so early in the morning and chase down his uh, the, our other cat and just chase her down and beat the shit out of her. All I hear is meow, 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 meow. and then I'll feel him jumping all over me and the couch and the ugh or the bed wherever I'm laying. Cause I'll run all through the house, through every room, just chasing each other, jump, flip flying, jumping around. And he, I don't know, you've seen my Pomeranian, okay? You see him, right? He doesn't have very long hair. You've seen Diamond, who has super duper long hair. He sheds worse than Simba. Like, Simba is a Pomeranian. He is nothing but a fur ball, right? He, Nala is a short haired cat and there's just hair. Look, look at all that hair. All the time. It's not just like sometimes. It's all the time. It's your hair, dumbass. Why are you going to go get it? Goofy. I love you. I love you, stinky boy. You're a good kitty. Yes, you are. I love you too much. He is the best. Nala is the best. He's my baby. You're not running across my keyboard. Okay. Look at him. He's spoiled. He's such a good boy, though. I have one dog. Come here. Come here. Oh, here he is. That's my dog. Uh, my kitty. Yeah, you just got your show time. Okay. Say hello. Do you love me? Do you love me? You need your brush. I need to brush you when I'm done, don't I? I gotta brush you again. Cause you like to mess. You like to get messy, don't you? Look at him. Ain't he sweet? Say hi, guys. Say hello, guys. Say hi. Say hello. Hello. Hi. He's the sweetest. You don't have to send me stars, Gregory. Mm. Say hello. You're such a good boy. I'm good. How have you been? Yeah. You're a good boy. It's crazy that his hair is so long and so thick, <coughs> but it doesn't shed like Nala. Like, Thank you, Nick. You would think that his hair would be everywhere, but it's not. It's Nala's. Ah! You that was really sweet. Hi Matt. Oh well, it's never expected it, but it's always appreciated. You like my puppy? Do you like my little doggy? He's a full blooded Pomeranian. 
and he is a spoiled baby. And he will kiss me for hours if I let him. But I am not. Stop it. No. No. Aww. <laughs> She's, she likes liking Circle of Life. Pretty much. Let me get this. I'll get down. I'll get down. I'll get down on my floor and lay down. And get down there and lay down. And you lay down behind me. You get down here. You go. Mommy put you down. Good boy. Good boy. Love you. Nice. Fortnite's my jam. All right, you guys, I'm going to end up cheating on this part. I'm going to be honest with you because I'm going to have to look up what to do. Let's see if I can upgrade it. I haven't upgraded my bow, Kenny. See, look. I don't, I'm not worried about the range right now. Sniper. I don't really use these right now. Sweet freaking dog. I love my dog ring too. He's the sweetest. And I have a tear going down my eye right here. My eyes have been watering like crazy lately. I don't know why. I'm just gonna save it. Good night, Grant. Thank you for hanging out. From the fun fur. Maybe, I don't know, but Nala's hair is everywhere and Simba's is not. Is all I know. Hi, Andrew! Details are all there. I've been inferred in my nose. I'm appalled and incensed that I did not see them sooner. The specific process to break down the human psyche, to obliterate it and give myself free range is so obvious. And now that I see it, now that I, now that I see it, now that what I have to do is in front of me, I can feel as if there is nothing else I can do. I can have everything I saw, everything I've lost, but I need resources. 
Jiminy's. The creatine will finally begin to earn his keep. Hi, Andrew! Use a warm towel for your face and wipe your room down with a wet rag. Oh, no! My eyes aren't watering from cat or nothing like that. They do it, like, randomly. And I can, I, I don't even, I won't even be home. Like, I'll be somewhere else. <coughs> and it's just, like, one tear. I don't know. It's weird. It happens, uh, like, mainly whenever I wake up from whenever I'm sleeping. My eyes will get, like, really crusty in the corner. And then, like, my eyes will water really bad. Like, both. And then, like, during the day, they'll water, like, once or twice periodically. But, like, not bad. Not, nothing. And it's not always here at the house. I just came so good. Do you have the DLC? I don't, I don't know. I know that sounds stupid, but I don't because, um... I bought it off the thingy, offline, and I don't know if it came with the DLC or not, but I, if I don't, I will download it. I'm going to buy the second one, I know that. gonna die. These are all the same pictures. <laughs> I think she played them before, if not. What the fuck just happened? Simba move! Rest your eyes after streaming, turn off your phone and laptop. Maybe. That might help. You have to get your eyes checked, please. I've been to the eye doctor, um, because, okay, so, growing up, I used to think I had, like, this lazy eye, because when I look a certain way, one of my eyes will pull in a certain direction, and... It doesn't usually bother me unless I'm, like, doing my makeup. And when I'm doing my makeup or eyeliner and stuff like that, I have to hold my hold that position for a little while. And that pull, it kind of hurts a little bit. But not, like, super bad. Like, I've, I've dealt with it my whole life. So, like, this is, like, something from birth. And uh, I wanted to see if they could do something about it. And when I went up there, they did an eye exam. They said my vision was perfect, like, like, above what it should be, actually. Like, a normal person's is, like, 20-20, but mine's, like, above that. Anyway, um, like, she said my eyes didn't really need any correcting, and that 
uh, what I had was not a lazy eye, but it was an overactive eye, which is actually very rare because there's a muscle in there that's give like and pulling it a certain way every now and then. So instead of it not keeping up with the other eye, it's being pulled in a different direction. She was um, she actually worked in a the the lady that I saw. Uh, hi, Yusuf. Um, her and her husband both worked there. And she was like, I've got to show my husband this because it's so rare. We've never actually really seen this before. And she was excited. So she took off to the next room, got her husband, brought him in and was showing him. And she, they both was like, this is so cool. And she was like, it's actually considered a pediatric surgery. She said, um, they don't usually do the surgery on adults because they usually nip it in the bud as children. This is something that should have, that went, and I went to the eye doctor plenty of times as a kid. Because I remember I used to have big old birth control glasses as a little girl. There's pictures of me wearing these big old pink glasses at like four. So, And I remember going to... I had a different, all kinds of different glasses. Eventually, I didn't need them anymore. But um, they never did the surgery that I needed, and they never told my mom that I needed it. But I did need it. My dad had the same problem. He actually had the surgery as a kid, and they corrected it. They actually cut it, cut it too far, and it went all the way over to one side, so they had to go back in and cut a different one to straighten it out. But um, she was like, I'm going to have to get in touch with a pediatric surgeon, an, a pediatric eye surgeon, and see if they'll fix it for you. And um, I never, I haven't got it fixed. I never got in touch with a pediatric eye surgeon. Because pediatric eye surgeons don't really want to work on an adult because it's risk, It's a high risk. So, um, and it's not, I'm, I'm a, an adult, I'm not a child, so it's different. Um, but yes, but I have perfect eyesight. There's nothing wrong with my eyes except for that one little thing and they just need to cut a nerve or uh, a muscle. If you like horror games, I highly recommend Outlast series. I've played them. I played the Outlast series. Rest your eyes after sure. Yes, I played the one and two. I'm back if anyone cares. I always care, Kenny. Outlast is almost... This is the most fun survival horror game. I don't like, I didn't like it because you didn't get a weapon. I, I like being able to shoot people. I like being able to defend myself. I don't like being able to not, I don't like, like, like this part where I'm running around this building away from, what's his name? I don't like that. Also try Alien Isolation. Now I have never played Alien Isolation. Wow. Yes, thank you again. They work and look good, Mandy. No worries. What do you mean, we care? We do care. Yeah, my eyes work great. That's why, like, I don't... I'm nervous to have surgery on my eyes. The mother's eyes are scratched out now, too, and the father's. The sons are the only ones that's not... When I came in here, the only eyes that were scratched out was hers. Now his are, and hers are. And his face was... I don't like that aspect, but... But good game, I heard. It is. I've played and beat it. It's my pleasure, Mandy. You can actually look up... If you go through my streams, every stream that I've ever done since the very beginning is all saved. So if you scroll through all the games I've played, you'll find Outlast 1 and 2, and they'll be in order. If I like, if I can defend myself. What? Yes, that's me. I like it if I can defend myself. I don't like to play a game where... Please continue to drink plenty of water and tea. I drink Gatorade.
like I just got a hair in my throat. This is the first farming with no weapons. Hi, David. Hiding and running, please. Atmosphere. Pulse atmosphere. Jump scare. Can probably use it. This is scary. This one's just so scary. Especially whenever you have to run from, um, Rubik. 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 I'm going to play the the Dead Space series. Um, I need to find where I can play it at, though, because it's hard to find nowadays. No! <laughs> Son of a bitch, I'm dead. I'm stuck. Oh my god! How did I do that? I played Dead Space after these. I played them, but I've never streamed them. And I, I played them on the PS3, so like eight years ago or more. Um, but I don't know where I can find them to play them on the system. I can't. I know you can play them on a computer. Anybody can play any game they want on a PC. I don't have a PC. I have a little laptop. I can't stream games through the laptop. I have to use a system to play the game. So, what, until I get my PC, I'm screwed. I had an amazing time, Mandy. Thank you for producing exciting streams. I will see everyone later. I had a phenomenal night, everyone. Once again, it was an honor chilling. Thank you, Gregory. Don't forget... To come back and see me. Of course, it's going to be in Spanish.
Whoa, what just happened? It was an honor, homie. I will see you again. Have a good night, bro. Just exploded. Um, one of those bombs, I was, I didn't creep up and grab it. Yeah, I don't think PS Plus or now has Dead Space series. They don't, and that's a problem for me. I don't know what, know how else to get to them. You can't hide from him, as from what I've read. <laughs> I need another safe. Hi, Walter. Happy Monday. It's actually Tuesday now. Let's see if I got any juice. Not that much. Down there is where I do. Love my TikTok. The other half of the picture. Hi, cat. Okay, this is where I think I die a lot. I'm 
pretty sure I'm on chapter 9. No, that was St. Gregory. Okay. I've got to see it. Okay, I'm going to watch this person do this. If you do them fast enough, at least. And... After it disappears, you can just go on your merry way. Uh, like I said, it is spot to just touch the problem is that sometimes if, if you're caught in a narrow corridor um, it will be very hard for you to dodge touching and if he touches you are dead you're just going to freeze these two suckers right here and break them um, sometimes they can be in the kitchen before the first brain minigame uh, their location varies depending on the on the depending on the game so they might not be here and instead there might be two hunted on haunted uh, walking around so do be careful there are two more haunted upstairs um, you can use your axe to dispose of them uh, there's an extra X upstairs that you can use, or you can just use a shotgun. Uh, I got plenty of ammunition, so I'm using my shotgun. And then just burn them down. There's another one. Again, I could have picked up the X, but oh well. Shut up. I am on this part, yes. So we've picked up the two locker parts, we'll have to use them in the music room a little bit later on. Now we're going to move down and uh, just collect this green gel. We're going to move down and we will be collecting. Uh, the reason why I didn't worry about using a couple of shotgun shells is because there are two more shotgun shells here. Uh, no, I don't want to climb, Sebastian. I, wanna, I want you to pick up the X, please. There we go. There's a bit of green gel to pick up here as well. And now we're going to move down this corridor and into this room. In here we'll find the fourth collectible in, on this chapter, which is Ruvik's uh, uh, a file that Ruvik wrote. Hi, Eli! As you proceed to the next room, there are two uh, enemies that will come inside this room. I'm not going to bother killing them because usually they don't drop any green gel and I won't have to pass through this room again, so it's just a waste of time. I could use, uh, I could use my axe to dispose of one of them and then shoot the other, but why would you? You, you don't really need to since you're not coming back to this section unless you're hiding from Ruvik, so you got nothing to worry about. He 
use another map fragment and as we progress to another room we're going to set up a trap don't panic all that you need to do is shoot the red light in between the, those two structures so as you get close enough you'll be able to do it uh, it really is a little bit about precision but it's not that hard though I do feel that if you have upgraded your uh, handgun's accuracy then you'll have a lot uh, an easier time doing this so it might not be a bad idea a, a bad idea so Rulvik should be appearing sooner or later first we're going down this fireplace right here and we're going to complete the second brain mini game in this uh, section we have to insert a pin in the fear section of the brain um, so approach the table watch the pattern on the table and you'll know where to insert it so you can see a line right and you have to insert the pin right above the line Hi, sir, yeah. uh, it's a little bit hard to see because this brain is all messed up but if you do that you'll be able to insert it in the right position and now we're going to Ruvik found a way to uh, investigate other people's minds and he's apparently going to use the patients that Jimenez has in the mental hospital as uh, guinea pigs. But like I was saying, the, the, the screen uh, turns blue when Ruvik appears and he will stalk you you can usually the best way to avoid him is to hide uh, underneath a, a bed inside a closet but you can also just keep dodging him and you can dodge him uh, and he will eventually stop chasing you as well he appears at a i think he has a certain specific time pattern that he appears so based on the speed that you navigate through this chapter you'll be kind of able to determine when he's going to appear here is the second key, and now we're going to have to do a little mini game where we need to insert uh, a spike in the spray. Okay, I've got to go back downstairs. Simba, stop! If you don't go down, dude. He says if you hide. This is that I can hide from him like under the bed. I'd love to have something like that. Actually. If you can hide in those and
he'll stop coming after you. That's crazy to me. I'm not doing this part yet. I'm done using those. Well, that was bullshit. Didn't even give me a chance to duck. So do I put it in the F7?
Hi, Joseph. Please give me permission. I don't know what those men of science. Men of science are dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. You can show me your experiments. I can show you things. You wouldn't like that. You'd think they're gross. In science, one must do any number of things a lay person may find disgusting. I've done many things others would consider distasteful. You think I'm some kind of a monster? You concern yourself so much with your appearance, but that mind of yours, that's all that matters. That's Marcello. Is that Ruvik with him? All right. Apparently, these people do. Uh, for, in order to get the tools out, we do this. You look at this paper right here. And if you listen to the recording, Rubik will tell you where you need to, which region of the brain, brain you need to start. This is the first region of the brain that you need to start. You can actually see a small hole on it, so it's really easy to find it. After you do this, we're going to witness a small cutscene. I'm going to let you in. Uh, this dialogue interaction between a young Rubik and um, Jimenez, every time we complete the, we complete one of those uh, rain mini games. Apparently, Jimenez, uh, as we suspected, was in cahoots with Rubik. And I gotta go back upstairs. Seems to be more than willing to take advantage of Rubik's research, but we'll learn a little bit more about that. So that was the third kid that you saw me shoot right there. It's very easy to miss and keep you in the field. And now I'm going to hide myself because if I'm looking at the clock right, Rubik should be appearing any minute now. Now, I don't necessarily have to do this because, um, to be honest, it could take him uh, one minute or more to appear. And if he does that, then I'm just going to get out and uh, I'm just going to keep dodging him. Is he appearing or not? Yep, he's appearing. See, I knew it. The second I get uh, from underneath the table, he appears. Uh, but it's really all about timing here. Uh, you'll have to wait in hiding until the screen stops, uh, until the blue light disappears. Once the blue light disappears, that means you're safe. Um, if you do things right, Rubik should only appear twice for you. If you do them, if you do them fast enough, at least. And after he disappears, you can just go on your merry way. Uh, like I said, it is possible to just dodge him. The problem is that sometimes, if you're caught in a narrow corridor. Okay. <clears throat> it's not letting me hide under that table now, which is weird. I 
hate that. for Ruvik to appear so I can hide. My problem was the last time I did this, he caught me every time. the other ones at. I don't know where all the hiding places are upstairs yet. So I want him to go ahead and come out. I can hide. He'll go away and then go upstairs and do the other brain. I'm just gonna wait because it's any second that blue thing will come out and it'll hit me like a wave What the fuck? I know I hit that. Yo, where is everyone? I don't know. They're hiding from me. They don't like me anymore. stalk you you can uh, but it's really all about he 
location before the first brain mini game. Uh, their location varies depending on the on the depending on the game. So they might not be here, and instead there might be two hunted on haunted uh, walking around. So do be careful. There are two more haunted upstairs. Um, you can use your axe to dispose of them. There's an extra X upstairs that you can use, or you can just... Okay, no, I know what he's doing. They're in here, they're just being quiet. Okay, this is for later. For, for a reason. Oh, yeah, syringes around this place. Is it right? I'm gonna see what happens after he does this part. Because I feel like he's gonna come again. And I wanna be able to. 
hide fast enough. So as you get close enough, you'll be able to do it. Hand guns accuracy, then you uh, later. Hi, Roberto. Line right, and you have. I didn't need that part. To insert the. Oh, I got the key. hasn't decided to appear yet. I guess we can keep going. Though I'm certain he will appear in the next two or three minutes or something. Uh, so I should probably... The thing is, I don't want to move to the next room right now because if he appears in the next room, I'll have very, uh, very little space to maneuver and dodge him. So that can complicate things. I know for a fact that he is going to appear sooner or later. But, you know what, I'll just take the chance because I don't think you guys want to see me hiding in uh, in a closet for the next five minutes or so. So I'm going to progress ahead. Um, in the next room, we're going to find another audio tape. So we're going to listen to it. And there's two enemies to kill. One of them is on the floor. And if you approach him slow enough by... Uh, Moving in stealth mode, you'll be able to burn him. There we go. A Ruvik should really be appearing at any minute now. But again, I can't just stay here and hide. Uh, so let's listen to the audio tape. So he should be appearing soon, according to that guy. What the fuck? Focus on fear, 
hope, consent, trust, and me. Three of these are pivotal, but which will open the way? Douchebag. I'm going to follow what this guy's doing just because I don't. frequency stimulation of cortical regions has proven less than effective. The subjects scream and scream, but they die okay. much too quickly. And as we approach this door, settings, another haunted will break through. Just shoot him with one shot, one shot, and then just burn him. Watch out for the bomb, though, if you want to disarm that. Uh, however, the bombs can't, these time bombs can't detonate while... You're, when you're doing the animation of throwing the match at your enemy, so you shouldn't really need to worry. There's one more passage that we need to open, and that's in the music room, so let's enter here. Pick up the matches that are on this table, and we're going to... S <sighs> the only question that remains is which regions to focus on. Have you forgotten something? <coughs> All right. Now where should we work on? Top or bottom? Left or right?
Hi, Nair. I passed a map piece. you. Thank you so much. Bows. Oh. This game's so difficult. The door really knocked off the hinges. I can hide in there. Good, 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 good. Good morning. Let me see what I have to do. And I don't even think I was paying attention to know what the combination is. So I'm going to watch this. Very quietly open this bar door. There's an enemy inside. We're going to stab her before she turns. You have enough, just enough time to do this. There we go. She wasn't there for me. At this point, you really Wow, look at you showing off, much. Mama. Because I don't think Rubik will have time to appear again until we move to, towards the next section. Lots of ammunition to pick up here. And a little bit more green gel, doesn't hurt. I have so many keys that um, once I go obtain the last collectibles in the safe room, I will be using those keys and I'll probably get tons of green gel in the process. Couple more shotgun shells. So those two bullets that I used in the other room weren't this, actually. This guy that I'm watching is doing it like on extremely hard mode and I'm just like wow. And now we're going to move. Right. But I need to see him do this part. Right real quick. Here. We will uh, there's another file on the floor room note I believe it's called yep um, and now what we need to do is insert the two dials that we collected in the library and in the room where we first encounter Ruvik um, or where the third key was and the numbers that we want to 11. place uh, 
are 11 and 2. So if you put those two numbers on the dials, you will be able to move towards this hidden room where we will complete the third mini game. Uh, once again. All right, 11 and 2. Thank you, mommy. Let me make sure that was a two. So where the third key was, and the numbers that we want to place. Um, okay. <laughs> if Rubik comes, remind me to go in that door and hide in that cabinet. Did I pick that up? I don't remember picking. I might have that. Oh, I need to watch him. Or he... I don't want to stick the wrong spot. Uh, 11 and 2. So if you put those two numbers on the dial, you will be able to move towards this hidden room where we will complete the third mini game. Uh, once again, we will have to insert a small on the brain. We have to place it in the oak center. So that's in this part of the brain, right here, where you see the light. Just stab it there. And it's freaky there. Stab the brain. Ooh, it's eyeballs moving. That part goes sit there. Okay. Hi, Steven. Okay, I gotta see what happens after this because what's his name is gonna chase me. Was moving. Oh well. And that completes this section of the game. We're going to leave this room and witness another small dialogue between Jimenez and Rubik.
So it seems that Jimenez's motives are actually a lot simple, more simple than we thought. He just wanted money, apparently. Um, and in ex exchange for that money, he would uh, provide Ruby with guinea pigs. Um, so Jimenez was corrupt. I'm not surprised by that. Um, and I guess little by little we understand him playing the lie. Simba, I swear to God. He keeps laying on top of the cord. <coughs> Thank God it's just the monitor. It's okay, baby. Why don't you lay right here? It is. This guy's getting on my nerves. Oh shit.
at me. Come at me, bro. I'm okay. Hi, Andrew. Sorry, I'm cheating. I'm looking up what I'm supposed to do. The hospital has not received the family's usual donation this year. Got a long way to go. Thank you, Weenus. <laughs> what a name. Good job, Dad. Lottie, Daddy, da. Headshots are sick. Thank you. Bring it on, motherfucker. Slice clean all the way. No. Oh, shit. Here for what I'm going to do to you peel the steaming skin. Thoughts from the mind. What do you fear, little one? Peel away, no tyranny. Rovik? Head, head, I'm just gonna go. Ah. <laughs> okay. I want the subtitles on. He was playing with a pig at first. All right, hold on. I'm going to watch what this dude does because I want to see if, like, I have to hide or something. Because this is hard. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Thank you. Yep. And now we're going to 
follow young Ruby across the corridor. Because this is where I got stuck at. Even as a child, it was incredibly creepy. Did you find the keys? I've got a lot. Yeah. And this guy's showing me where a lot of the keys are. actually kill you if his body uh, of, of the, or if the particles that uh, make up his body uh, get attached to him so you want to dodge him and keep at that range all that you saw uh, in this room you have to be very careful with the way that you move it could trigger one of those wires the ceiling will fall on you uh, there were a few bolts there but I got the maximum amount I didn't hit the button so just follow the same path that I'm following and you should uh, avoid this room. Just take this room without too much trouble. After you pass that last wire you can start running. Keep it in a section. Yes, I'm glad I'm watching this because this is hard. This is what the... Watch out for the bear trap. Sneak past that bomb. Pick up the green gel. And now you don't want to approach that trap right there, otherwise you'll be spliced to death. And if you do this, you'll be in the clear for now. Gotta make a run for it. Fortunately, Sebastian doesn't run out of stamina. And in this room, we're going to pick up the last collectible uh, in this chapter. Oh my shit, this is gonna be hard. If he touches me, I'll die. What the fuck?
What the hell? It's fancy. The barn on fire thing. It's a lot. Kinty. Would you run? That's intense. Now being shot at my head. And we're going to take another set in the chest we have just destroyed. Yeah, that's me. A little bit now being shot at my head. And we're going to take another set in the chest we have just destroyed. I have missed so many of those that it's not even funny. Look, there's that painting that's in that, um, See how freaky that peasant's hair was? It's like he came out from the hair salon or something. Oh well. Maybe it's uh, an incomplete animation. Before you head inside uh, this shaft right here, uh, you will want to go around the shack because there's a few bullets. Uh, Hi, Steven! Bolts and some green gel to pick up. Uh, I got the maximum amount of these so I can't pick them up, but I am showing you guys their location and the rest so that you can open them as well, because as you know, ammo is rather precious in this game. buddy all right here we go I'm sorry I was watching my cheat sheet because I've never been this far into the game and uh, I don't want to get up <laughs> I'm good at, I'm good at that I don't use my rifle that often so I don't need that 
I'm seeing you around. Yeah, I've been, I haven't been on that much, and I haven't been on Facebook that much to watch other streamers. I've got, like, I've got something wrong with my, my blood pressure that's keeping it, like, really low, and, I, like, the doctors aren't helping me and doing their job, but, um, I'm gonna go, uh, hopefully, maybe tomorrow to urgent care and see if they'll help me get it up and keep it up, that way I can be back to streaming and stuff. You don't need him to play silly, just don't let Bug Bug touch you. But yeah, I need to come in your streams more often and say hi. I'm full of these, I know. I'm full of all of those. suck but they do they do all of that sir I think they know everything exactly he's looking for his sister I know you're in here I can hear you breathing God, I hate them butt suckers. <laughs> I had a friend that had blood pressure issues. They used meds to raise it. Hers was getting too low as well, and it started because problems with her eyesight. Eventually, they found the problem was in her heart, and she had a pacemaker. Hopefully, you don't have to get that. Go that route. Usually, meds get you feel it. Well, my doctor thinks it's my thyro something to do with my thyroids, because I'll show you. Like, my grandma ha has, like, eight of these. <laughs> And I, uh, I had went to the hospital, I posted a picture on my page of, like, I had a swollen lymph node, and it was, like, really big. Like, it, when I think swollen lymph nodes, I feel like you can feel it, you know, but you can't see it, right? My whole face was swollen, like, like the whole side, it, it looked like I had, like, an infected tooth and that my face was swollen. But it started, like, behind my ear. So there was, like, this little knot behind my ear. And then it grew over to the side of my face. And it was, like, this huge <laughs> puffiness. So I went to the hospital, and I was, like, and they was, like, it's just a swollen lymph node. It'll go down in a week or two. Like, they can get bad like that sometimes. Um, and they were going to release me. And then she took my blood pressure and she was like, oh, that's not right. And she moved my arm, and she was like, don't move. And I was like, I didn't the last time. And the second time she took it, she took off running out of the room. And I was like, oh, my God. And I looked at it, and I don't know what the hell that stuff means. And I sent a picture of it to my mom because she's a CNA, and she was like, oh, your blood pressure is really low. And they moved me from in the emergency department from overflow to, like, the intensive care part, like, People that come in off the ambulance that are, like, really wounded, they have, like, that emergency part. They moved me from overflow to that part. And then they wanted to do some kind of, some, some kind of CT scan and all kinds of stuff. But the IV that they had put in fell out. And then they never found out what was wrong with my blood pressure. My mom was scared, so she came up there. And they, they sent me home. They just kept me two hours longer for no reason. Hi, Lisa. There are specific foods that do that. The photo information can be found on Facebook. Light photos. Yeah, but I, like, I, my, my diet hasn't changed, really. 
over the years. Use this coffee too. I don't really like coffee. I I like these coffees. These are the only coffees I like. Uh, the fra the mocha, the mocha frappuccino. Here come Facebook experts. <laughs> what are your recommendations? Then we could use some. Definitely. As an expert, I recommend just walking on your hands the rest of your life. It'll be fine. Oh, I don't have any energy. Like, I'm always tired. I can sleep a solid 12 hours and feel, and still feel tired. I don't think you'll have a great workout. Need a, bo need a box of salt? You know, I read that I shouldn't eat bananas. Bananas... Like, I read that if you have really high blood pressure, you should eat bananas. And that bananas will help lower your blood pressure. So, I was like, I can't eat bananas. I was so pissed. Your body changes over the years. That should work, too, as it has caffeine. Right? Could be your metabolism that changes as we get older. Yeah, but my metabolism's the same. Like, I'm still, I don't gain that much, like, my weight fluctuates because I'm, I'm one of those people that will, like, binge eat a bunch of food and then I won't eat nothing for, like, a week. Like, I'll crave something and only eat that for, like, two weeks and then I won't eat nothing for, like, a week. My appetite will go away. And, like, it's so, I'm never really big. Like, every now and then, I'll get a little thick in my thighs, but that's usually when it's cold. Just because you didn't have issues earlier doesn't mean things can't change. You're right. You're right. Eat ramen noodles all day long. I am not eating ramen noodles all day long. All right, watch. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to show you guys the numbers. The average on here, it was normal because my grandma had it. And now it's like 92 over 58. It actually might be up up a little bit right now because I don't feel as drained and tired as I normally do. So that's a good thing. Garlic lowers blood pressure as well. Why do you eat stuff that raises it? Yeah, I could tell it was up a little bit. It's, it's 100 over 70. Your blood pressure will shoot through the roof. You're doing... You are noting a possible thyroid issue. That's really what I meant. That's what the doctor thinks. She thinks it's my thyroid. Yeah, but I'm never ang I'm not hardly ever angry. Look, okay, when I hit the memory, it'll have this average. And my average is like 93 over 63. And then like right before I went live, I took it and this is what it was. But it usually it stays between like the 90s and the 80s. Bacon. <laughs> Sodium bacon. I'm not, I can't have a lot of potassium is what I was reading. Mindy, you got a bit of a twang in your voice. Whereabouts are you from? I'm from North Carolina. 100 over 70 isn't too bad. My wife averages 70 over 50. That's dangerous, Andrew. Ham hocks. <laughs> she should see a doctor. That's bad. Like, what I, when mine was, when I was at the hospital, they freaked out when it was 80 over 60 and put me over there in, like, the ICU department. That's dangerous. Anybody talking about potassium? <laughs> I've just got to figure out what's wrong and go from there. But I'm thinking about, hi, Alex. I'm thinking about going um, to the doctor.
Hey, I think there's kids in there. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Oh god. Pickled chicken feet? Y'all are gross. Talking like Dracula tonight. I'm drinking wine and eating chicken. Have they done chest? No, but they're going to. It's in my blood work. But I have to have done. Okay. These people are evil. What's up with his hair? That's so freaky. It's like he, he has squares on his head. Mine didn't look like that. My big egg is worth it. That's a lot of salt. I will eat some salt. Salted bacon. Villagers wanted to take revenge on uh, Ruby's family. I want to do the puzzle myself. We need to burn. Find a salt block. People set out for deer and lick it. Shut up, Dustin. You go get a salt block. That was a reference to Dracula. Dead and loving it. And other than that, I'm really eating chicken wings tonight. I love chicken wings. Strictly meats. I've been eating a lot of chicken. Alright. Open the door! Open! This is sad. I'm sure has salt. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not a vegetarian. I'm not a vegetarian either. I've tried the vegan thing, but it's not. So his whole family's dead. Shit. After his sister died, he killed his mom and dad. Because he was... When, when he was talking to his dead parents, he had that binding and stuff all over his face. So he was already burned. So he didn't kill his parents until after his sister died. There should be a veggie option, too. Get out of here. Hi, Frederick! There's gotta be... I don't know. I usually have 157 over 90. Wait. Hi, hi Brandon. Can I have you salty seasoning on chicken? I eat it with cheese, like chicken quesadillas. I've been eating like like Mexican food, I lost chancas here lately. Um, they're chicken quesadillas. Oh my god, they're so big, they're salty, and they're so oh god, they're so good. Hey, buddy, how are you today? Hi, guy, have you ever watched Dracula Dead and Loving It? I don't think so. I've watched a lot of Dracula movies, but I don't think I've watched that one. Graphics in the game look pretty good, they are really good, Andrew. 
Below 60 is a low blood pressure. And above 140 is a high blood pressure. Wait, is that David? Below 60, the top number or the bottom number? Like, I don't understand. Hello! That's me. I usually have 150 over 90. That's high. Game story sounds like a America tragedy. It is. That's what's meant. If you haven't, check it out. It's an underrated comedy directed by Mel Brooks. I will. And shoot the mechanics. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Leslie Nelson. I had Mexican food recently. I've had steak burrito this weekend. I love Mexican. Come on, Mandy. You don't have, you don't know, you don't want below 60 for either number, but random, but bottom mainly. Well, my bottom number's been like 58 and shit like that. Durr. Durr, durr, durr. I said I wanted to do that. I don't know why. Maybe it was this one. Usually the first number is higher. It's supposed to, yeah, yeah, the. You don't want below 60 feet. Usually the first number is higher. Yes, fun fact. Leslie Nelson is actually the oldest actress to play Dracula. I loved all his movies. Well, my blood pressure was 80 over 60 at the hospital. Right after Bella Lugosi. Just like Rodney Danger. I loved him. He's really sick. It said to burn one of these piles. I don't know which one. Aha! See? Method to my madness. Okay, hold up. I, I see. That's why I'm, I'm cheating. Damn it. I can't put it in my password upside down. You know what I love about Samsung phones? Okay? I, I don't normally put a password on my phone because I don't need one. Um, everybody in the house knows my password. All my kids, Dustin. Like, everybody knows my password. Because I don't feel like it's necessary. But um, when I put in our, um, my pay, when I set up my PayPal, and when I put in, um, our debit card information into my phone, it immediately, as soon as I put the card information in it, it immediately took me to my settings and forced me to put a lock screen on it because it said something about keeping my um, card, my credit card, or my debit card uh, safe, which is amazing. And I thought that was so cool that they did that. Hi, Warren. I was not surprised that he was a serious actor for Jake Calvin. A 60. Oh, my heart rate is usually 90. It's on average. Okay, hold on. On average, it's 88, but like, it's usually 100, 110, 102, 95, 100, 100, 99, and every now and then, it'll catch palpations on here. 
Or it's not beating like it's supposed to. Like it skips the beat or whatever. Thank God his mouth was shut. Sorry to hear about your high blood pressure. Drinking juice will help reduce it. It's low blood pressure. A lot of, a lot of, of if not all 80s comedies are the best. That's an opinion, sir. I was reading. Do you, do you ever, did you ever see the movie The Explorers? No, I haven't. So you're bad with security crap? No, I'm not bad with security crap. I just, what I'm saying is, I think Samsung's amazing because they forced me to put security on my phone as soon as I added my card information to my phone. So, like, I didn't even add it to my phone. All I did was sign into my PayPal, and it was like, your information is now in, in this phone. Your card information is now on this phone, linked in this phone. Um, I can't, I can't, I wish I would have screenshotted it because it was like, yeah, we need you to put a, a password or delete your card information. And I wasn't going to delete my card information. That was stupid. That would be dumb. I order stuff all the time. If you take fish oil pills, it will help support heart health. I don't know that there's anything wrong with my heart though. I think it's my thyroid. That would have been nasty if you saw some of that blood splatter. It would probably be gross. What if it was deadly? No, I haven't. Classic masterpiece. Samsung had a security break a while back, so that's why they do the recommendations now. It's not a recommendation. It's mandatory. Like it did it. It was either Put a, a, a code to get, a, put a lock on my lock screen or delete my card information. That was it. There was no enter at your own risk. Like, you don't have to put put a code, but you're it, you'll be at risk, blah, blah, blah. There, no, it was like, you have to put a, a, a code on your phone or password on your phone or you have to delete your card number. You cannot skip it. I tried. Trust me. I didn't want to put a password on my phone. I thought it was dumb. The, but the more I thought about it, I thought it was, like, really safe. Because it feels safe. So does mine, David. I scan my phone, like, every other month. Didn't mean to come off like talking crap. You're good. But yeah, it, it it forced me. It wasn't an option. I had to do it. Underneath, and then now we're going to try and get outside. And we will enter uh, a sort of boss battle, I guess you could say. But yeah, always remember to burn the straw, the straw piles in, in this room so that you can obtain that last key. It's very easy to miss. Some of these, the keys in this game are so well hidden. Um, what I'm going to do here is keep shooting the, the bodies that keep forming. Don't even give them a chance to get up, really. Uh, after you take care of these ones, uh, five shots and then use a, an explosive bolt. I missed one body uh, on purpose because I wanted to collect those two shotgun shells. And you have, you'll have very little time to collect ammunition around the room after you kill the last body. So after you kill the last body, you'll be able to witness... Okay. My phone password's protected. Oh, it's your thyroid. Okay. I don't know what it is. I'm just saying. Um, it wouldn't let me skip it. I prefer. I still don't have a sure my phone. Okay, it's your thyroid. I don't know what it is, Alex. Um, they're going to do some tests and figure it out eventually, I guess. My phone password protected. I also tell you. I do that too. Because I run out of room.
didn't say I couldn't run into him. Okay, what's what I do to stress? Hopefully she was doing fine after being prescribed certain medications to help treat it. Yes. Hopefully. Switch my action. Mine's easy. My kids know it, so if I forgot it, they would remember it, but it's mine's so easy, it's... I know blood pressure issues can be problems in the waiting. Yes. I have lots of boobies on my phone, and I don't want my friends seeing the boobies on my phone. Great. Ew. At least he knows. Yeah. My mother had high pressure too, could possibly do She said, but she was the only had after being prescribed certain medications. I just gotta get my, my blood pressure up instead of down. <laughs> Oh my god. See, I didn't get to pick up that jail. Thank goodness. Well, you're killing in game. I'm getting killed. Look so like looked away and it looked like it looked thin as dust and all this stuff. I don't know. I like guns and games better. Hello, Adida. Why is Sebastian the one being punished for all of this? It's not his fault. But oh well. So, like I said, this chapter is completed. Um, all that we need to do is progress towards the next room. These are Ruby's parents. This is where we saw the photo of her dad dying. Um, nothing to expect here, so we're just going to progress. 
progress for this facet right here and that will conclude the shopping so as always thank you so much for watching my friends i hope okay this is it guys this is it for the night right here My children, I want... Beatrice, we have been through this. <laughs> Sometimes I hear his voice. Forgive me. He sounds so close. There is nothing down there. How can I be any more clear? Then why is it locked shut? Why can't I go down there? He was alive. They thought he died in the fire. They didn't even know he was alive. Oh, wow. That's sad. They thought he was dead. Okay, so everything that we're playing together now, I have not been passed. Whenever I finished the game, well, the first time I started streaming it, I got stuck inside the mansion part where you had to do the brain thing. I didn't even know that there were brain things that you had to do. I just knew you had to run from him. And every time he would catch me and kill me. So. We will be live tomorrow. Or today, whatever. Um, if I feel like it, we might do an earlier stream. I'm thinking five-ish, maybe, maybe noon, I don't know, we'll see, I'll definitely be here by 10 or 11, so, um, you guys know me, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm unpredictable, I'm just here, and then I'm gone. Sometimes an hour, sometimes three and a half. It's, it is what it is. Yeah, I got to get some sleep. Kids got school in the morning. Um, oh, wow. But um, I love you guys. I played Mario Galaxy the other day. Now I. Yahoo! You out? Alright, have a great night, Mandy. Thank you, Lauren. Have a good night, buddy. Sebastian dies at the end. No, he doesn't, because there's a second one. Hi, Muhammad! GG's. Appreciate you sharing your streams with us. Hope you get better soon. Thank you, Andrew. Hopefully, too. 